Modern medicine today can only drug 0.05% of the human genome. You can imagine that as being equivalent to the size of New Zealand on the whole of the Earth's surface. When we think about the fact that there are approximately 6,000 diseases caused by mutations in a single gene, and we've targeted only 0.05% of the human genome, that obviously adds up to a large number of patients suffering from a large number of diseases who today have no appropriate therapies available to them. Throughout the last decades, there have been a lot of big trends in healthcare which impacted the healthcare system. The aging population, the growing population. However, today I think the biggest impact is actually the occurrence, the same occurrence of data analytics and cell and gene therapies. A new revolution in biologics. Cell and gene therapies really have the potential to transform the lives of patients in many different disease areas and our approach is to apply the technology in those indications where there's that highest unmet need, not only just for rare diseases, but also for more predominant diseases. We're always looking for great science. We're always looking through breakthrough technologies. And so from my perspective, it really is this approach to collaboration and supporting that collaboration to really look for and drive science. Bayer acquired several affiliates or arm's length companies, as we call them. Blackford Analysis, and that was really all about driving digital innovation. Thavidian, all about drugging the undruggable with chemoproteomics. Blue Rock for their IPSC technology, so really how do you drive cell therapies? And Asbio for gene therapies. They each offer a unique component for our strategies. And what we do is we really help to support those strategies, to really drive these novel approaches to reach patients. Here at Blue Rock, we focus on four main therapeutic areas, which are neurology, ophthalmology, cardiology, and immunology. Our lead program currently focuses around Parkinson's disease, where we replace dopaminergic neurons that have been lost in the brain. The strengths of Blue Rock is definitely that we are a leader in regenerative medicine. We have a very strong platform capabilities with our cell plus gene therapy, whereas Bayer's expertise is in commercialization of drug development. Bayer Collabs is a global network of life science incubators. We are supporting entrepreneurs developing cell and gene therapies. Companies come in with a no-strings-attached agreement and they have access to Bayer's expertise ranging from R&D to regulatory to manufacturing, in addition to visibility to our business development organization and our Leaps Venture Group. This partnership really helps us to accelerate the next days of innovation that are key to really helping patients. It's very important that stakeholders from academia, politics, and the private sector are coming together to drive the innovation of tomorrow. The Charité in Berlin and Bayer are joining forces to create the Translation Center for Cell and Gene Therapies. In this project, we are partnering with the federal government of Germany and also with the city of Berlin, the Senate of Berlin. The idea is to create a building where startups get all the support they need to bring these therapies into patient care. My hope is that we have options available for everyone who needs them and that they're also accessible to everyone who needs them. A vision for Bayer to contribute to innovations of tomorrow is that we continue to invest in highly innovative therapies and engaging in collaborations with other stakeholders very successful in research and discovery. To shape the innovations of tomorrow, I think we need to start with the entrepreneurs of the future. So really bring in everyone from diverse backgrounds to understand the needs of the science industry today, because they will be the patients also of the future. We need to continue to build the collaborations. There's so much technology out there. It's not all in one spot. So this is about the networks. It's about the people. It's about the, the talent, the understanding, and the culture, and having that right mindset 
that will make it a success.